Hey guys, this is Melissa from the House of Platypus, and today I'm going to show you how I have changed up my planning style um, and how planning ahead has saved me both time and money. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new content. And if you're not, welcome back. Um, if you have watched any of my Plan With Me videos before, um, you know that I used to sit down like once a week and set up my planner for the upcoming week. Um, and you'll also have noticed that I haven't uploaded one of those for a long time. Uh, and the reason being is that I have been pre-planning. Um, and I have found this has worked a lot better for me just in terms of um, time. I'm not scrambling at the end of the week to make sure my planner is set up. Um, it helps with pre-planning because I already have my basic um, set up down. And it also helps me kind of plan what sticker purchases I want to make. Um, and what I'm going to show you today is this is my October order from Planner Kate. Um, pretty much all the stickers that you will see me use are either Planner Kate, Erin Condren, or something I made myself. Um, and I'm going to kind of explain to you how I order, why I order. Uh, I know some people spend a lot, a lot of money on their sticker orders. Um, I'm on a budget. I try to keep it to about $20 a month. Um, and there's some months it's not even that. So um, this is this current week here. We're still in August. So you see here that I have already um, kind of put in my basic layout. Um, September, I've got all of my monthly stickers down here. I'm starting to put some of my monthly appointments in. Um, and I have this all filled in up to August. Um, you can see it's just kind of the same basic like skeleton, I guess. Um, I do the thicker washi up here, thinner washi down here if I have one. You know, put something in the little box over here. Um, and then payday, taking the garbage out, those kinds of things happen every week. Um, like here, I tried the thicker washi just to try something different. Um, but up to October here, uh, I do like to get these monthly kits every month. I just, I think they're really pretty and I don't know, I I feel like when my planner is pretty, I'm more likely to use it. Um, so it's just more functional for me. Um, I believe this sheet, I want to say it's $5.50 um, and there are some discount codes um, for Planner Kate Sue and she does run sales pretty frequently. Um, so that also helps me stick to my budget. But I'm going to go ahead and put the monthly stickers in here and I'll show you just kind of how I do that quickly. Okay, so there is my monthly. Um, you can see there are a few stickers left on here. Um, I hang on to these. Sometimes I use them in my weekly layouts as the month goes on. Okay, and then I only bought actually two of these mini kits, uh, or one mini kit and then the washi. For October, um, I don't use all of these functional stickers on these mini kit sheets, um, so then I'm able to stretch uh, for several weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually put the washi in first. Um, my birthday is in October, so I specifically got this kit I thought it looked kind of birthday-ish, so I'll do that on that week. Okay, now you'll see like these leftover washes. I keep these because I use them in my personal planner, um, and I'll come back to this sheet. Um, now for this final week here, this is another way I kind of keep my sticker spending to a minimum. Now I have these like functional stickers I've purchased that have the washi on the side. Um, so then I just need to find two that match and I can use that. I've got some of that too, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just go with the polka dots. And then I also kind of flip back through like my old kits and see if I have any um, that kind of match these color schemes. Like this, I could use the blue. I could use the blue off of this one. Um, same here. Um, so that way, 
I've got some labels uh, and stuff I can use if I have anything to put in for that particular week. So that is my basic weekly setup. One other thing is I do like to put like a quote sticker or something in this box. Usually I will just go to my Erin Condren um, sticker books. I used to put washi there, um, but I've kind of just been liking um, just a quote sticker or whatever there. So I'll just stick a couple of random ones. I do like these clear stickers that are in the back of that book. I don't know how straight that is, but. And then since this is October, um, I don't really have my monthly, like any appointments or anything written down yet. Um, but as it comes closer, I will go through and write down, you know, if I have appointments or whatever. Um, and typically what I will do for the week, um, like for instance, um, on this week, then I will stick this sticker sheet um, in the folder in the back. So as things come up, I can write it um, on a matching label. And like for these weeks that don't have washi at the bottom, uh, I might dig through my washi collection and just see if I have some skinny washi. Um, if I don't, that's not the end of the world either because I do like to write um, my daughter and husband's work schedules down in that area. Um, like here's an example. And then I just highlight it like with a, with my mild liners. So, so there you have it. That's just kind of a basic overview of how I pre-plan. And like the next month will be November, obviously. So when Planner Kate releases her November stuff, um, I'll choose my monthly one and then I'll go through and you know how many weeks, I think there's usually always like four weeks in the Erin Condren months. But anyway, um, you know, how many kits do I need to have? What do I already have for washi? Um, and then kind of plan my order that way. That way I'm not just picking up a bunch of stuff like, oh, this is cute, but then it sits in my box and I never use it because I have done a lot of that in the past and I'm trying to just pare down to the stickers I actually use. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and leave um, all of my discount codes and social media links uh, below. Like I said, I use the Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. I do have an Erin Condren referral code. It's $10 off your first Erin Condren purchase. So I will also leave that below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.